So when is the best time to buy property right now in Australia? You're probably worried about rising interest rates, the global recession that will be coming, and also inflation. Very, very easy to get scared. And I'm doing this video to share with you one fundamental principle which I have applied to give me great success in investing that you can also apply to multiply and amplify your returns much quicker. Are you ready? Let's go for it. So the one fundamental investing principle that I follow to determine when the best time to buy any asset classes, let's apply this to property, is the concept of mean reversion. Now I want to write that down, mean reversion. What does that mean? So for any asset classes, usually periods of overperformance will likely to lead to a period of underperformance and vice versa. So performance for any asset classes will usually revert back to what we call the mean. So in property, that's about circa 7.5%. That's the average capital growth rate over you know, 100 years. That's why I've been <laughs> researching in my research. So basically, how, do, how does this apply? So I'll share with you my personal story. I bought a property in Sydney in 2017. That was the peak of the market. Guess what? Over the past five years, from 2012 to 2017, it's had one of the biggest runs in history in Sydney. And guess what? I bought in the wrong time. It was literally at the peak. And guess what? That was one of my worst performing assets on my whole portfolio because I misunderstood the concept of mean reversion. So it outperformed in the past five years, very likely from then to now, it underperformed. And that's probably very true moving forward as well. So how can you extrapolate this in numbers? Let me give you a very classic example of Sydney median house prices. In 2002, the Sydney median house price was $493,000, so just after half a mil. In 2012, the Sydney median house price was $600,000. So, so if you bought in 2002, and held to 2012, you would have made 20%. Now, is that a good return? 20% over 10 years, so so far 2% per year. That is a horrible return. And so the person who just bought into the idea of, no matter, it's time in the market, don't worry about time in the market, you know, it, it, it can't time the market, that's utterly BS because that's gonna hamper your investment returns over the long term. You can time the market, not perfectly, but somewhat if you can understand the concept of mean reversion. Now let's go back to 2012, okay? The median was 600,000. If you bought in 2012 after a period of basically almost no growth and you held it to today, 2022, you would have made about 150%. The median would have went from 600,000 to 1.5 million dollars per house. So to see the power of mean reversion, it's all about understanding where each city, which properties, um, you know, city, it could be you know, uh, capital city, original centers, where is it in the market cycle? If you can understand this one concept, you can pick the right cities at the right time before it takes off and enjoy that compounding capital growth and rental returns over the long term. Now let's flip this, all right? One of my best investments I've made is when I bought a freestanding house in Brisbane in late 2018. Back then, Brisbane was like a, a nobody, right? No one liked Brisbane. It was did nothing for 10 years. And I remember I understood the concept of mean reversion back then. I was like, Brisbane hasn't grown for so long, like seven, eight years since the 2011 floods. And it's probably going to do well in the next 10 years. Now, I remember telling my friends about this. I'm going to buy in Brisbane, guys. And they're like, why aren't you buying Sydney and Melbourne? It's grown so much. Brisbane's dead. You're going to lose money, Matt. And I, I made a bet on them. And guess what? That Brisbane house growing 60% in just four years. So I got about a 15% compounding capital growth rate rather than a misery, misery 2% if you're boarding Sydney from 2002 to 2012. Now, do you see the power of mean reversion and understanding market cycle? So... Be very careful of those property gurus or financial advisors when they tell you, oh, don't worry about timing, just buy any time when you're ready and just hold it for the long term. But if you bought in Sydney in 2002, guess what? Your returns will be so low that you're just holding the asset for almost no reason and you're obviously negatively geared usually in the capital cities in Sydney and Melbourne. So be very careful of who you listen to. Those are the people who just want your money. Usually buyers agents, for example, they are there to sell you a property. Like I, I know Sydney buyers agents right now, they are, they are going mad right now. Best time to buy, it is you know, a buyer's market. Interest rates are going up. Next 10 years, got to outperform. 
but I disagree with that. The last 10 years Sydney has done phenomenally well. I think this decade to 2030 is going to underperform the whole average. So be very careful who you listen to. You know, most buyers agents, they are localized. They actually are only specialize in one area and they have to, you know, they want your business. Of course, they're going to tell you Sydney, always the best time to buy, but I completely disagree. So where do I think the, the next you know, capital cities or regional centers to invest based on the cons of mean reversion. So let's apply it together, okay? Just to finalize um, this video. If you look at Perth, for example, it's done pretty much nothing or negative growth for the past 10 years. And But if you look at Perth between 2000, 2000 and 2010, it's been buoyed by the mining boom. So it's done well for that decade, but last decade was a lost cause. So I think right now in Perth, and it's just showing signs of positive growth right now in certain areas, I reckon Perth this decade will outperform just purely on the concept of mean reversion. But of course, we can't really rely on just mean reversion. There are many data points like Stockholm market, you know, days on market, vendors, this kind of, so many factors that I look into for my clients and when when to, to buy in a particular market, because you're buying a particular street in a particular suburb, in a particular capital city, right? You're buying a house in the address in a particular city. So you can't really just rely on buy anywhere in Perth and you're fine. But I think Perth will do exceptional well this decade while Sydney will underperform. I also think Adelaide and Brisbane still have some room to grow because Adelaide and Brisbane hasn't grown much for, you know, the, the last decade. This decade, I reckon they'll outperform Sydney and Melbourne. And Hobart, probably the worst performer because last decade it grew to so much that now it's got a so correct it's got a flat for a while so those are my general thoughts just purely on the concept of min reversion remember min reversion is only one part of investing there are multiple legs in investing but i think it is the most the most important thing is it's all about the price you pay and the price you pay is what dictates the value you get out of investment and i would like to share Warren buffett's quote it's price is what you pay value is what you get all right and Warren buffett is is he is a market timer and if you apply his same principles to property it's all about when you get into the market and when you get out of the market and what details you return it's always the price you pay and and the best way to determine when the best price to pay is is where are you where a city is in the market cycle very very important thing i think not enough bring up property advisors or buyers agents talk about this because they all all they care about is they want you to buy right now in, in you know in, in whatever because they want to make a transaction of you man they get paid on a transaction they're not getting paid uh, for you to make the best decision for yourself remember no one cares about your money more than yourself please get educated. I really hope this video has really shown you how you can outperform the market. It's not rocket science to really predict when, when a capital city will outperform another capital city, just applying the min reversion principle. So let me know below what your key takeaways are on this video and also share and subscribe if you want to learn more tips about investing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video soon. Thank you.